I'm ashamed to admit it, but I'm a freeloader. And in big government America, it's we rich people who freeload the most. Years ago, I built this beach house. That's younger me there. The house was on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. A risky place to build, but I built anyway. Because a federal program guaranteed my investment. It can happen to you. Protect your home with flood insurance. Congress created government flood insurance to help foolish people who don't buy private flood insurance and lose their homes when the water rises. The flood insurance program provides valuable protection for approximately 5.5 million homeowners. So taxpayers may help foot the bill if a flood hits movie stars' homes on Malibu Beach or Derek Jeter's new mansion in Florida or the Kennedy family compound. Why? We rich people should insure our own homes. Eventually, a storm swept away my first floor, but I didn't lose a penny. Thanks. I never invited you there, but you paid for my new first floor. Then the whole house went. Government flood insurance covered my loss and many others. We rich people freeload off you taxpayers all the time because the overpromisers in there keep churning out special deals for politically favored groups. And they tend to be rich people because the rich can afford lobbyists. There are thousands of lobbyists within a few blocks of where I was standing. If you want some advantage, you pay them to persuade Congress to give you a special tax break, like the one for electric cars. It is endless the possibilities that this bill will pursue, encouraging energy-efficient products such as plug-in hybrid cars. His tax credit led dealers like this one to advertise free carts. Buy one for $6,000, get a $6,000 tax credit. Governor Mike Huckabee got one. His friend got seven. And I got this one. Totally free. Free for me, anyway. You taxpayers paid for it. Then I put solar panels on the roof of my new home. Why? Because Congress gave me a big tax break. If you want to, for instance, invest in solar energy in your home, we have tax credits in there. So many of these programs that are supposed to be have a broad benefit end up having a narrow benefit. To me. To, 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 to us to, who are rich enough to put solar panels in the house or buy an electric car or have a beach house on the edge of an ocean. So it's another situation where the government creates a benefit and the people with more money, with better tax accountants, are better able to take advantage of it. We cannot turn back. Not with an economy to fix and farms to save. Farmers get lots of well-intended handouts from government. But who benefits? Mostly rich farmers and people like Bon Jovi, who owns acres of land in New Jersey but pays only $100 in state property tax. Because he raises honeybees, he qualifies for a honeybee subsidy. Bruce Springsteen owns hundreds of acres of land but pays little tax on it because an organic farmer works his land. His poor neighbors pay more. It's unfair that I have to pay for an acre and a half, $6,000, and then they're paying for hundreds of acres for $200. America's single biggest recipient of farm subsidies has been Maurice Wilder. The multimillionaire owns some farmland, but he mostly builds homes and offices. Here's one of his many homes. Gorgeous view, but no crops around here. Others who've collected farm subsidies are basketball star Scottie Pippen, billionaire Ted Turner, even the family of anti-subsidy congresswoman Michelle Bachman. None of these people broke any laws. They or their families just own land that qualifies for handouts. But think about how much money we could save if these guys just didn't pass so many laws that encourage freeloading. But they do, year after year. They micromanage life with subsidies. And the winners are not so much the needy, but people like Bon Jovi, Ted Turner, Maurice Wilder, and me.